In Bosquin, New Hampshire, Conservation Officer Josiah Town patrols his district near Concord. Hello, this is Josiah Town Fishing Game. Hey, Josiah, I had called you about my neighbors and their turtles. They caught them from a pond locally near our home. They have not fed them. They have not taken care of them in any way. So it's heartbreaking. All right, I'll swing by and see if I can find them. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I mean, whenever you have any living animal and you have it in your possession, it's your responsibility to make sure that they're cared for. Also, it's currently the closed season for all turtles. You can't take them out of any ponds. You can't pursue them. And you got to leave them be. Our number one concern is the health of the species. So if we allow people to go out and take turtles during their breeding season, that means that ultimately, you know, in the future, potentially we could have less turtles. Oh, there we go. This water is so dirty, I can't even see down in to see if there is a turtle swimming around in it. I don't feel comfortable sticking my hand into this water, not knowing what's in there, both for a creature and if this is even safe water to put your hands in. So I'm going to have to dump out some of this water. Uh, I do see two turtles in here. I didn't think there was any, but there's one little tiny snapping turtle. I think the other one's a snapping turtle as well. There are a lot of things wrong with this setup. The aquarium is plenty big enough, but the water temperature is going to be way too warm. The sun's beating down on them. Also, there's you know no real food that I see here. Those are all major issues. Nobody's home today, or at least no one's coming to the door when I'm knocking here. So I'm just going to take these turtles and put them back in the wild. That's where turtles belong. Yeah, just two small snapping turtles. So I'm not 100% sure where these turtles came from. I'm just going to try and find a uh, suitable environment somewhere close by. They live in most any water body um, around the state of New Hampshire. Obviously not super deep. Any stream or pond should do. came right back to me. He's staring right at me. Almost like he's trying to say thanks for releasing him. There's a whole bunch of little minnow fry right there, so that'll be good food for them. It'll be the perfect environment for them. But they're liking it. They're moving right along. How's it going? Living the dream. What's yeah. up? The owl. The owl. 50 miles west in Newport, New Hampshire, conservation officers Kevin Bronson and John Demler meet up to discuss a protected species case. There is a lady up in Warren who called and complained that she was like evicting somebody out of her home. And okay. the Warren police officer showed up. Yep. And there was owl remains there. So he told her she needed to contact us. So she called, said, yeah, he's been trying to taxidermy this owl. So I explained to her that that was not allowed and that I'd be picking it up from her today. How'd she know that he wanted to taxidermy? Because he had brought it in frozen, solid, at some point. Oh. Like maybe he found it dead over the winter. I don't know. OK. And uh, he had put it in like a five-gallon bucket of like pickling solution, she called it. And then she had cut it, he had cut it apart and everything like that. Huh. So where is he now? So I called her this morning, and she said, well, my husband let him in last night to get all of his stuff, and he took the owl components, but she gave me the address down here in Newport. If we need to, we have enough for a search warrant. Yeah. But, I mean, he'd be dumb to just not give it to us. Yeah. If he comes and just hands it to us, then we go with our, with yeah, we'll give him a summons for having that. Otherwise, he's looking at thousands of dollars in penalties under right. federal law, so. No, that sounds good to me. And then if we need to get a search warrant, then we'll go that route. Yeah. OK. Yeah, hop in. Let's go. Let's, let's go. There's federal regulations that protect most birds throughout the United States, so owls are definitely on that list. You can't have any parts that belong to owls because they're actually pretty fragile and they have an important role in the ecosystem. 28. Ready? Federal law prohibits the possession of any protected bird or its parts, including feathers, nests, and eggs. 
Hello? Hi. Are you Adam? I am. John Demler with Fish and Game. How's it going? Pretty good, you? Good. What's this for? Well, we need to talk to you about an owl. Do you have, okay. do you have parts of an owl or I anything like that? Owl parts. It was hit by a truck. OK, so we're basically here because you're not allowed to possess any of that. OK. Yeah. Um, I, I called, and I was told it was OK. Who did you call? I called the police. What police did you call? It was Wentworth. Wentworth Police? OK. Yeah, no, you're definitely not allowed to possess anything like that. Oh, the parents. Perfect. Right here, man. Do you have a driver's license or any valid ID on you right now? OK, perfect. Right now, as it stands, um, for us, it's like a $124 fine to even possess that. Yeah. Like I said, I, I found it dead in the road. I got gotcha. you. Was it in Wentworth? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was right on 25A. Barred owl, I think. Yeah, it looks like a barred yeah. owl. So yeah, so we're taking that. Um, just so you are aware, in the future, there's yeah, all kinds no, of federal no, regulations on them. Like... Pretty much anything you find, you want to call us first. What I'm going to do is probably just issue you a written warning, okay. saying that you had this. So that way, in the future, if you're, you know, if you're in the possession of something yeah. along these lines, you can't be like, I didn't know. Yeah. No matter what, this individual being possession of an owl is a violation. I think it's important to check on his story because I, I don't want him to have to pay a fine if he was told by a police officer that he could have this owl. And if he's not being truthful, he's going to be issued a summons and fined. All right. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, don't, I think this is the end of it, right? This is I, the end of it? I hope so. You don't seem very confident. You did pick it up dead yeah. and they told you? Yeah, I could keep it. OK, that did happen. It did happen. I'm just going to paint the picture for you. Because we're here right now, and this is what will happen. If you tell us that you didn't call, you are going to get a $124 ticket. Right. If there's no line of this happening, you're going to ramp it up, because you're wasting a whole bunch of time. On my daughter's life, I call that. that. Then that's all I need to know. All right. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Work. I think I pressed him just to start. I, I think he called. I would like to say that I can believe him, but I don't know. At the end of the day, we're leaving with what we came to get, so that's a win. But I think he really did know he wasn't supposed to be having this stuff and why he forfeited it so easily.